All right, all welcome to you. Welcome back to the channel, whichever way the situation may be. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to update the BIOS on the Gigabyte B550 or its probe motherboard. There is a few disclaimers I got to throw out at the beginning of this video. Number one, this is a how-to or tutorial on how to do this. If you decide to do this and there's any damages done to your components, you take full responsibility. It's very unlikely, but there is a chance something could go wrong and you can mess up your components by doing this. Number two, I would recommend hooking this up to a UPS for an uninterruptible power supply while doing this. That way, if you can't lose power, if you do lose power while doing this, you will break your motherboard and won't be covered under warranty because it is something that you cost. But the disclaimer's out of the way, let's flip you over here and we'll show you how to get this BIOS updated. Alright guys, get the BIOS updated on this motherboard here. I done went ahead and I put the flash drive in. And then my flash drive is letter D. You go down to letter, letter D. You can tell there's nothing on it. You want to right click on it. Take it down to format. And it's it. F N F T S. You need to change that to FAT32 system. And this will erase any data that's on the hard drive or the flash drive. So make sure there's nothing on there that you want to keep. And hit, hit start. And let it format it. Format complete. Okay. Then you need to go to your web browser, which I use Google. You look up the motherboard. I've already typed it in here. I've already did this once. But it's... uh. This Gigabyte B550 Oris Pro. There we go. Top ones from the Gigabyte website. You want to make sure you get these from the website to sell. Make sure it's exact, the exact motherboard you've got. If it's got AC Wi-Fi, if it's a micro ATX, anything like that, make sure you select the correct motherboard that you need your BIOS for. Okay. You don't want to use this support up here because that's for the whole website. You want to go over here to support on this one. You want to select your OS because they do have Windows 11 and Windows 10 now available. Okay, then we come down here. You got BIOSes, which is nine of them. Looks like the latest one is F14E, which I believe mine's on F14D because I done updated the BIOS. But there is, does look like there's a new one one out. So we're gonna go ahead and update to that one. Gonna hit this download button right here. And it's gonna download. Go down here and click open. Uh, it needs to be extracted. Go up here and hit extract all. And right here you want to make sure you go to the browse feature. And like I showed you, my flash drive is drive D. Depending on what flash drive, what letter your flash drive is, you want to make sure you're putting it on your flash drive. You want to extract it to your flash drive and hit extract alright there you go it shows you all the files that's on the hard drive now there you exit out of these when you get into the BIOS now go ahead and close the window the internet explorer chrome whatever you whatever you're using go down to start go to power go to restart start tapping the delete key and this will take you into your BIOS all right, and here you are. If you've never been in your BIOS before, this here's the screen will take you to. This is the easy mode. And our BIOS is uh, F14D, so this is a little bit newer one than the one I'm running currently. So you can hit F8 on your keyboard, or you go down here to Q Flash, click on that, and you can uh, update BIOS or save your BIOS. You want to update it, so you click the top one. System volume, it's already recognized the file on the flash drive, so you go ahead and click on that. Make sure it shows up down here. It ain't going to do nothing for you. Go ahead and hit this little arrow. It says, are you sure you want to update the BIOS? And hit yes. All right, it verifies the file. And we will be going from F14D up to F14E. It verified the file that it is for this motherboard. And you go down here and hit start. Step back and let us it do its thing. All right, guys. Now it'll reboot in three seconds, or you can hit the reboot button yourself. I'm gonna start tapping the delete key. Just go right back into the BIOS. We go back here to easy mode, and you can see the BIOS version now is F14E. So that's pretty well the way you do it. So uh, let me get reset up here, and I'll come up with the conclusions of the video for you. All right, I'll see. It is a pretty simple process to get these BIOSes updated. It's pretty well like any other Gigabyte motherboard. This motherboard does have the Q flash where you can do it without memory or CPU installed, but I do not recommend using them. There's been a lot of issues that I've seen online where people have been having issues with the Q flash or any kind of flashback without having CPU and RAM 
installed. That's why I recommend you doing it the way I show you in today's video, which means you will have to have an older processor to do this if you're updating to a 5000 series processor. If you like this kind of content, go down and give me a like. If not, there's that dislike button. There's also that comment section below. I go through them every weekend here on my live stream, Saturday morning, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. If you really like this kind of content, maybe hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on it, where you're notified next time I put out a video or go live here on YouTube. There's also links in the description for Instagram and Twitter. I don't care your inbox, but I do put up photos of new stuff I have coming in. Kind of give you an idea of what's coming up on the channel. If there's any news about my live stream, if I got cancer or change time, it's where you also get that information. With all that being said, you all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video or live stream.